Hello and welcome. My name is Kalyan Verma. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a what-if model in Excelsius from scratch. What-if scenarios uh, help to determine where a certain factor value of a KPI uh, need to be in order to achieve the desired result or meet certain targets. Uh, What-if scenarios can be used uh, both uh, at work and personally also. For example, if you want to examine how different methods of your personal spending or saving money will affect your finances in the future, uh, like buying a new car may seem you know, affordable right now. Uh, however, if you plug in various factors like income or expenses into the model or into the scenario, uh, it can reveal some hidden facts, uh, whether you will be able to pay it off during the course of 36 months or 60 months or whatever is the term of the loan. So in this case, uh, I'm going to use an example of uh, a product uh, where uh, whether it can achieve the profit level set by a certain company or not based on the what if model. Uh, before jumping into the model, let's examine the underlying Excel data. Let's quickly switch to spreadsheet only mode. What I have here is, uh, if you observe in the center, I have the forecasted numbers for sale price per unit, cost price per unit, quantity and profit percentage. If you observe, these are all forecasted hard-coded numbers. Uh, below that, I have the variables for cost, quantity, and profit percentage. So these are going to be my factors which would affect my ultimate uh, uh, key performance indicator, which is the profit. Below profit, I have the sale price, cost price, quantity, and profit percentage. The cost price, quantity, and profit percentage here are calculated based on the variables here and the forecasted numbers. And the sale price is calculated from uh, the sale price per unit uh, and the quantity, uh, the what if quantity. The profit is calculated based on sale price minus the cost price for the entire quantity of the product for all 12 months of the year. And I also have a certain target to meet um, for every month and throughout the year. So let's go ahead and quickly uh, create a what if model. We are going to use a simple uh, combination chart. So let's click on charts, go to combination chart, drag and drop a combination chart. For the first series, uh, let's take the chart title off, subtitle off, and add a series. For the first series, uh, let's give it a name of profit. For the values, I give the calculated profit value, the what if value, and the labels as the month names. So quickly I have my uh, forecasted numbers here. So let's also map the target. This is going to be a line chart. So I give it the name of target and the values as the target values. So if you observe, none of my forecasted numbers are meeting the target. So let's quickly do a quick formatting of the chart so it looks better. So there you go, uh, the chart is formatted now. So let's go ahead and create a few sliders uh, for our variables, which is uh, going to be cost price, quantity, and profit. Let's go to components and under single value, select the horizontal slider and drag it onto the canvas. Let's quickly uh, set the properties, give the title of cost price. Let me fix the pane here. Give the data as the percentage, the change. Uh, I already have the minimum and maximum values for each variable. So the minimum limit for cost price, maximum limit 
and also if I switch to behavior, I increment it by 1%. So similarly, you can create uh, the rest of the sliders. For now, let's quickly change the position of the title to left. And there you go. I have my first variable slider. Similarly, create the rest of the variables quantity and profit. So there you go, I have uh, sliders for all three variables. So let's go ahead and quickly preview the model and see what happens. So at this moment, uh, you can see there is no change in my forecasted variables, cost, price, quantity, and profit. Hence, the forecasted numbers remain the same and they don't meet the targets. However, for me, in order to meet the target, what factors can affect the forecasted numbers is what I need to do. So what if I reduce the cost price by 0.5%? If you observe, my forecasted numbers went up a little, uh, but my threshold for my cost price is only 0.5%, so I, I keep it at 0.5%. Uh, and I can leverage the quantity. Uh, what if I increase my quantity uh, by 2%? If you observe, uh, it's slowly increasing. Uh, my threshold is 4%, so I leave it at 4%. At the same time, uh, profit percentage, uh, let's uh, increase it by uh, 5% and 10% and once I increase it by 10% you see all the months meeting the targets. So what we have just done here is we have set the variable factors which affect my ultimate uh, key performance indicator which is the profit here. So at 0.5% of cost price that is a reduction of 0.5% in cost price and increase of 4% in quantity and 10% in profit percentage will uh, meet the target for the year. So this is how uh, you can design uh, what if models. Uh, what exactly happens when I change the slider here is it's, it's changing the values on my spreadsheet uh, here. So let's color this uh, to some yellow. So when the values here change, my calculation for cost, quantity and profit change here. So the profit uh, numbers change. So when the profit numbers change, the my bar bars uh, are changing on the chart and uh, trying to meet the target. So this is how you can uh, use various single value components, uh, charts, etc., to change the values on the, on the in the underlying uh, spreadsheet, and always create what if models for variety of scenarios. You can also use it for personal uh, use. For your personal finances, if you're buying a house, a car, loan, or something, you can always use uh, what if scenarios. Thanks for watching.